Hello, and welcome to the 2021 Grotto Hardscapes Virtual Dealer Day. We're going to introduce you to our 2021 Inspiration Guide, go over a lot of new products that Grotto Hardscapes has for 2021, plus go over all of our existing line to show you some of the features and benefits of our products. Here is our new logo that you've been seeing for about a year now on our products. They've been on our packaging labels and things, but this is the first time we've had the new logo on our inspiration guide. And here are the products we're going to be going over today. As you can see in the verse lock line, we have the mosaic lot walls. We have the weathered parapet walls. We have our weathered column kits weathered standard and harmony walls we have a surprise new product that we're going to be introducing to you today and then of course we have the VersaLock standard and our capping options with our estate wall line you're going to see the weathered estate wall state wall two we also have estate pavers and weathered curbstone and with our fire pit kits of course we have the solid accent kit the square estate wall kit our new weathered estate wall two round fire pit kit and, and our steel liners and our precast cap options. And then for our commercial and holocore units, we have the Ridge Rock line. So we have all the Ridge Rock, Ridge Rock two, Belgado and Messina. Then we'll also be going over our product composite page and new for 2021, we have an accessory page as well. So now we'd like to unveil the new Grotto Hardscapes Volume 9 Inspiration Guide. This is the cover of our guide. And I'd like to encourage you, if you're watching this video and you have a copy of this guide with you, take that copy and I want you to take a Sharpie or a marker or a pen or whatever and use that as your guide. Um, so make, feel free to make notes in it and things so you can also refer any topics we go over today right down in your guide. One thing I know about taking notes is even if you never refer to the notes, the act of writing anything down always helps you remember it. Now, when you open up to the uh, first page of the inspiration guide, you want to see if the reason we call this an inspiration guide is we want a customer when they pick up this guide that we want them to be inspired. Hey, this could be at my house. So you see, we'll have this featured project. Every year we have a feature project and this particular project you're seeing here is our feature project for this year. The homeowners were gracious enough to pose for and be our models when we took these pictures. So we want to convey this feeling of home, of family, especially during times like 2020 and 2021, we feel safe at home. That's a place we wanna be and hang out. So we wanna get that. And one thing I'll notice, and I note this on every page, you'll have a caption for every one. In this particular project here, you see we have our weathered chestnut and granite blend estate pavers. We have column kits and our bullnose treads are present as well. As you open to page four and five, we have our VersaLock Mosaic. And VersaLock Mosaic is our most authentic and longest tenured random panel segmental retaining wall in the market. With VersaLock Mosaic, you can build walls up to four foot tall as a gravity wall or 40 foot plus as a soil reinforced wall. This wall system most closely resembles natural stone wall with its multi-size and weathered appearance. And it can accommodate inside and outside radiuses and also multi-angle corners. That's accomplished because the VersaLock Mosaic is a solid segment mineral retaining wall unit. We stock VersaLock Mosaic in chestnut, hickory, walnut, cedar, and granite blends. VersaLock Mosaic is also available now in a non-weathered finish. As you look at the pictures we used for our Mosaic and Inspiration Guide this year, uh, just pick up on the randomness of this wall. Um, you know, the average person looks at a mosaic wall and they see a random stone wall. But if you look closely, you can kind of see the panels. You know, the panels are 10 inches tall by 24 inches wide. So they're laid in a modular pattern that the installer, he can make efficient time with it. But when you take back, if you kind of take your eyes out of focus a little bit, you'll see that the mosaic really looks random. Um, we also have the available colors in the chart. So as you're looking at this page, you can glance down and actually see a swatch of the color that's available in uh, VersaLock Mosaic. 
And once again, it's also available non-weathered. So if someone wants a little mod more modern look, crisp, clean, they don't want that aged, rustic look, it's available in non-weathered finish also. As you turn to page six, we have our weathered parapet walls. And when we say parapet, parapet is another word of saying a freestanding. It means that wall is textured on both sides. So the same look of our versatile lock line, but something you can be seen from both sides. So it does have a natural weather look. It's, it's an easy to install freestanding application. You can build walls with parapet. And this is, note this, 30 inches is the tallest exposed height we recommend on our parapet units. If you get any taller than that, you have a danger of, of someone backing into it with a mower or a vehicle or even just a couple of uh, you know men pushing on it could actually topple it over. So 30 inches is the max recommended freestanding wall height we recommend. You can do straight walls and the wall is also the wall is also a trapezoidal shape that can do an eight foot radius. These are also solid units so you don't have to worry about hiding any holes or pin grooves or things like that. They're solid units so even if you decide you want to install it without a cap it'll still have an attractive look. We also make the parapet in a cobble size so that's just a half that instead of a six by sixteen it's a six by eight. So if you put a 60-40 blend or a 730, you can add those cobbles to tighten the radius and also make just mix it up and give it more of a random look. And the parapet units are also available in chestnut, hickory, walnut, cedar, and granite blends. And they're also available in a non-weathered finish also. As we look at the actual page from the inspiration guide, you can see the textured on both sides, attractive freestanding option of parapet. If you look at the top left picture, you'll see because those solid units, those block were able to be split and to give it a nice textured finish on the very end of that wall. That installer did an excellent job of just putting the finish on that. Uh, if you look to the lower left in that picture there, you see the parapet, you know, with our double bullnose caps. So there's a, just a primary example of a great use of a freestanding wall around a patio. And then you see on the right side, you see the parapet wall, the freestanding option showing tied into one of our column kits. And here's another look at a nice job done with the parapet unit. So just a simple wall, a seating wall for this homeowner around the fire pit. And Kit is sitting there, just seems to be enjoying waiting for this to start the fire to keep her warm on this nice brisk fall day. When it comes to columns, Grotto Hardscapes offers a column kit. And in our column kits, we include enough block to build a 20 by 20 column up to 48 inches tall. The column kits can also be made wider and taller by adding Versalock cobbles to make a 28 by 28 column. Or if you add Versalock standards, you can make a 36 by 36 column. We have multiple capping options available. In the case of the picture you see here, that's just taking six of our eight by 12 estate pavers to make, a, to make the cap. You can use our bullnose treads for a cap. Some people use a nice 24 by 24 piece of natural stone, also makes a beautiful cap. And we stock this in our main colors, our chestnut, hickory, walnut, cedar, and granite blends. And we also stock column kits in weathered and non-weathered texture. One thing to remember about a column kit, it's always advisable to embed one course just like on a retaining wall on your column kits. Another great aspect of our column kits is the void in the center. It makes it easy to add external lighting so you can run your wire right up the center of the column. And in the case of both of these columns, you have a nice light fixture on the top to finish off on top of your cap of your columns. You see the picture on the left is one capped with actual bullnose treads. And then the one on the right, again, is just using weathered state pavers to make a simple cap for the column. Just a great addition. It's a perfect way to terminate a seating wall or a retaining wall. It just makes a nice, easy addition to any hardscape project. In the case of this project, the column kit was actually used to make a nice corner. As you see, the freestanding wall transitioned into the cheek wall for the stairs. Instead of having to modify our corner, just put a column and tie both walls into it. Just a great way to really set off this, this hardscape project. As you turn to page eight, you're going to see our weathered Versalock standard. And this is by far our best-selling wall 
line. The weathered standard is a solid unit, so you have the flexibility of the solid unit to be able to modify for out 90 degree or 45 degree corners. It has the ability to turn an eight foot radius, so you can do curved walls inside, outside radiuses, straight walls. You just get the, and you get the aged rustic look that really resembles the look of natural stone. It's a smaller scale, so we're not using a big 8x18 unit, so a smaller scale that is not dominating the landscape. And the curves, corners, and stairs can all be built without addition of special units. And we stock the weathered standard in chestnut, hickory, walnut, cedar, and granite blends. And we also have it in the monotone colors of brown and natural. As you look at page 8 on the left, you see a weathered standard wall that's actually done in what we call the harmony pattern. And the harmony pattern is where the cobble units, the half standard, the 6x8 units, are mixed in just to break the wall up, give it more of a random appearance. And you can see in that picture, that's our walnut blend. So you really see that nice blend of gray and brown together. Uh, this is my favorite color to recommend to a homeowner when they say they want a wall that, that complements a red brick house. I think the walnut blend really works well in those uh, surroundings. And when you look to the other page, you see, of course, on the bottom, you see a, just a nice hickory wall with a column that just makes a great terminate point for that wall. And then when you look above, we're going to show this is where we talked about the new product. Um, we're going to start in just a few weeks having a weathered standard wall that has a smooth face option. So instead of the rustic split face, we have a smooth face for the give it just a little cleaner look. It is going to be tumbled, but when they want that smooth face, which is a popular option among many homeowners. And here's another color of smooth face. Here's showing some of the uh, the corner units that we're going to offer. And this is in the chestnut color. So you can kind of get an up close look of what it is. We're going to have the corner units. So they're going to be tapered on one side, straight on the other. So do the same things we do with our column kits and things like that. But you're going to need to have to have a corner unit for this because with Versalock standard, you can snap them apart and have a split face texture. Well, if you're taking a smooth face wall, you snap it. You don't want to have a smooth face on one side and and a split face on the other. So we're going to make some special corner units for the smooth face. As you turn to page 10, we have where it all began back in 1988 when Chandler Concrete started manufacturing segmental retaining walls. It's the Versalock standard. This is in a non-weathered split face texture, but this is a solid unit as well. It gives you the flexibility of the solid unit, all the make your own corners, build stairs, inside and outside radiuses, but it has a clean contemporary look. And as you see, as, as we get into 2020, 2021, people are wanting, sometimes people are wanting a little more of a modern look. So the Versalock standard is, is, is offering that modern look as a clean contemporary look. Uh, like I said, the curves, corners, and stairs can be built without the addition of any special unit. Um, and we stock these in the colors of chestnut, hickory, walnut, cedar, granite blends, and then the monotone colors of brown and natural. So Versalock standard has been around a long time, but it is still one of the most popular and flexible retaining walls on the market. 
Now here's the page in the inspiration guide of our Versalock standard. Sometimes you'll hear us say that as that's a non-weathered standard, but really it's just the Versalock standard. Um, these blocks have not been tumbled, so this is the way they're manufactured in our block machine. But as you can see, you have that crisp, clean look, square corners. Um, obviously here, easy to integrate stairs, corners. You know, in this job on the left, that installer did not have to buy a special unit to make that corner. Those those were split on site with a block splitter, or you can also do it with a mason's chisel. So it's easy to incorporate stairs. You can build inside, outside curves, straight walls can all be done with the Versalock standard. And we added all the color swatches on the right side of the page so you can have easy reference to the colors. They're available, and they're available in seven different colors on Versalock standard. Here's just a great example of a clean looking Versalock standard wall. This one's in chestnut blend. The Versalock standard, I mean, it's a great wall. Some of the, you know, the features of it, a four foot gravity wall, that is a very tall wall to be able to build with no additional soil reinforcement. So installers like that, if they know they don't have to excavate farther to put grid in as they would on a holocore unit, that is a big selling point for the Versalock standard. But I just think this is a great example of the type look you're going to get from the Versalock standard in a segmental retaining wall. If you look to the bottom of page 10, you'll see this chart, and these are all of the capping options. When you think of a cap on any freestanding or segmental wall, it's purely about aesthetics and ease of installation. And when it comes to ease of installation, the Versa cap is really the easiest cap we have to install. When you look at the Versa cap, it's a trapezoidal shape, and they're a universal cap. That means they're textured on front and back. And because of that, that one cap can do an outside radius of eight foot. It can do an inside radius also. And then if you alternate the caps, they can do a straight wall. So you don't have to order different caps for different straight or curves. Really makes it a versatile cap. The next cap we have is our rectangular wall cap. They're a little thicker. They're four inches uh, tall, 18 inches wide, 12 inches deep. Now this cap will give full block coverage if that's important to the installer. And it's great for a straight wall and it's great for any commercial walls or any of our holocore units because they're four inches thick. That makes them easy to double stack for step downs that you see a lot with um, more commercial retaining walls. Then we have the bullnose cap slash tread. Um, those are three inches tall, eight inches wide, 13 and a half inches deep. That, that is the most popular cap we have for any time people are building steps. They're great on single-sided seat walls as well. And then we introduced a couple years ago a double bullnose version of that. Same dimensions as the bullnose cap, but we have a rounded bullnose on front and back. Freestanding seat walls, it doesn't get any better than that double bullnose. And then we have the parapet cap. And the parapet cap is named that because it is intended to be used with our parapet walls. If an installer or homeowner wants a cap that has a split face, but also gives overhang. So with that, when you install it on a parapet wall, which is only 10 inches wide, it's 13 and a half inches wide. So you have a nice inch and a half overhang uh, for a parapet wall. So this is a nice handy chart when you're meeting with a customer to go over all the different caps. And the thing about caps, it's nothing structural about a cap. It's purely for the aesthetics they want. Next, we'll go to one of our more versatile products in our entire line, and that's the weathered estate wall. Whether the state wall are four inches thick by eight inches wide by 12 inches deep. They're ideal to build short retaining walls, build columns, build seat walls. You can build fire pits or even build a fireplace with the estate wall. Outdoor living features such as grills and kitchen islands and things like that are easy to, to build with the weather to state wall. We stock weather to state wall in hickory, chestnut, walnut, cedar and granite blends. We added the nice color chart here at the bottom of the page to see the weathered estate wall. So it's a very versatile product. Um, it's you know, just the things you can do with it are, are just a, your imagination is the only thing that can limit what you can do with weathered estate wall. On this project, the installer installed the estate wall in what we call a state rail where he actually used it to a see-through seat wall. Um, it's a really nice uh, touch to it, something 
Uh, I've even had in, you know, homeowners say they like this look because if they get leaves in it, they can take their leaf blower and blow the leaves through the gaps. Um, if you are figuring, write this down in it. Um, the multiplier on figuring this type wall is six estate wall per linear foot. Um, the, the state wall columns make a nice termination point uh, for this wall. So this is just a really exciting project that was done with the state wall. And here's a couple more examples of a state wall laid in the estate rail fashion. As you turn to page 13, this is a product we're really excited about. We introduced a little over a year ago it's the first time we've been able to incorporate in our inspiration guide, and that's the estate wall two. Uh, you see the chart comparing the estate wall dimensions to the estate wall two. But the great thing about these two products is they can be used individually, like we were showing you with estate wall, or you can combine them. And this project, estate wall and estate wall two, was combined to lay that wall with minimal cuts. It's because you already have, you have the trapezoidal shape of the estate wall two. But the estate wall two, they're four inches thick by nine inches by eight by six and a half inches. So it's a trapezoid. So we have four different measurements on the sides. It's perfect for short retaining walls, seat walls. We actually have a round fire pit kit that's done with the estate wall two. The estate wall two allows estate walls to be built with curves with little to no cuts. You can still do outdoor living features. And we stock this in our big five colors of hickory chestnut, walnut, cedar, and granite blend. Now we have a short video of an estate wall with a state wall two being installed. So you can see in this project, Ken and I are installing this wall and we just have just minimal cuts. We're making this radius. We're incorporating into a state wall columns. As you see here, I'm mixing a state wall two with a state wall. So we're able to stretch out and get the radius. And then we have just a small little cut piece to finish it on the end. So normally when you're doing a wall like that, you're having to cut every block. So installers like efficiency. Homeowners like things that are easy to install. So this is an easy project product to install. And a state wall also makes an excellent column. So as you can see, we can just terminate that wall right into a column. So this, this is a simple little seating wall that, that um, installers will love for the efficiency. You see how fast it's going up. Now, of course, we did speed this video up a little bit because, you know, you know, Ken and I do not work this fast. But here we are. We're working on the last course here. And the wall just... All we have left to do is finish the column. So that whole that whole wall was done with about four or five cut pieces, and that was it. As you turn to page 14, we get back to our feature project. This is the same uh, patio and retaining wall that was on the cover and on the inside cover. So it's just. Uh, pictures to get inspired. You know, we want the homeowners, we want customers to smoke. They're flipping through our inspiration guide and want to say, wow, these are great ideas. These are things that I want to incorporate in my next hardscape project. Next, we have our estate pavers. Uh, estate pavers are a versatile thing to go with all line because the great thing about our estate pavers is they're made on the same machine and that our walls are made out of in the same colors. So if you like a retaining wall or a seating wall in chestnut or hickory blend, we make a paver to match that wall. The great thing about our pavers are they can be laid in a one, two, or three piece pattern. The three sizes they come in are eight by 12, eight by eight, and four by eight. And the colors coordinate with our entire line. The larger size of our pavers allow for a greater installation of efficiency. Case in point, when you lay one of our eight by 12 pavers, you've laid two thirds of a square foot in one lay and a paver that's not hard to handle either. It's not like laying a big slab paver. So they're a little bit larger, 
than the traditional six by six, six by nine pavers that are, that are on the market. So it's a great. A good thing about our pavers are we sell them by the piece, so you can break pallets um, with our pavers. So it makes it for smaller jobs. You know, someone only needs 30 square foot of pavers. It's possible to do that with Grotto Estate pavers. And here are weathered estate pavers. You can do these in one, two, or three piece patterns. They've been tumbled, so you get that same rustic look on the corners uh, of a cobblestone pathway. We make these in five colors, cedar, chestnut, granite, hickory, and walnut blend. And you see we have a nice chart showing you the different one, two, and three piece patterns. And then we have the recipes for them. So if you're looking at the herringbone pattern, you'll know you'll figure that using 100% of a 4x8 or 100% of 8x12, which means it's all going to be laid with rectangles. The modifi modified herringbone or eye pattern is a popular pattern with installers, and that's figured as a 25% of your area is in the 8x8 and 75% is with the 8x12. If you want to go with the three-piece random pattern, we have the recipe there at 50% 8x12, 33% 8x8, and 17% 4x8. Great thing about our pavers is we make our colors in the same colors as our other hardscape products, so it does coordinate with our entire line. And here you see the nice clean look of our non-weathered pavers on both of these pictures. You see how they just coordinate uh, with it. Uh, the picture on the left is actually hickory plate pavers and the walls are chestnut but you see chestnut and hickory both share tan so you see how they really go well together and it showed the installer thought about a thought about let's coordinate and do something that complements and just matching so you really sometimes if you use your imagination you can really make these jobs stand out but this has a nice crisp clean modern look and a non-weathered finish of our pavers our weathered curbstone is a very versatile product that we make, and it's ideal to be used for landscape borders, driveway and path curbs. You can do small planters with them. We stock these in the same colors of our other line, especially our pavers. So if you need a nice paver border, you can get these in hickory, chestnut, walnut, cedar, and granite blends. In this example here, you see it was a nice border that a homeowner could do for a border between their mulch bed and their yard. That way they have something to mow right up to. So it's a very versatile product that we make. This is also a great product, I think, for our dealers. It's called this the cash and carry. You know, these block only weigh about 14 pounds. So it's something that a homeowner could come in and buy 20 or 30 of these on a Saturday morning and go and do their afternoon project with them. Grotto Hardscapes now offers three separate distinct fire pit kits. The solid accent fire pit kit is a large 72 inch outside diameter, 52 inch inside diameter and 20 inches high fire pit kit. It's constructed out of the Versalock accent units that are made solid. So they have a texture on front and back to make a really attractive large scale fire pit. The estate wall fire pit is a 48 by 48 square fire pit and it has an inside dimensions of 24 by 24 and it stands 16 inches high. The steel liner is optional for the estate wall fire pit. And we also have now an, a, fire, a round fire pit kit created with our estate wall two units. It is a 58 inch outside diameter, 42 inch inside diameter and stands 16 inches high as well. And on all three of these fire pit kits, they're offered in the same five blended colors or most everything else in our hardscape line, which is cedar, chestnut, granite, hickory, and walnut blends. New for 2021 is we have the precast caps. We have a gray and a brown precast cap. These are four piece precast caps that really add a nice touch to the Estate Wall 2 fire pit. So you have many options. You know, all of these kits can be installed just basic fire pits without a liner. You can add a steel liner. And if you really want to jazz it up, add one of the precast caps to one of, to our round estate wall two fire pit. Here's just some alternate views of those three fire pits with the dimensions. 
And here you see Ken and I installing the round 42 inch diameter liner in the estate wall two fire pit. Slides right in for a nice clean installation. So here's a short video where we produced a few weeks ago to introduce this. As you look to page 22, you see all the, the job site pictures of Ridge Rock, Ridge Rock 2, Belgado, and Mesita. We also have the specifications on the bottom right of page 23. So things like available colors, um, packaging, height, depth, width, um, and also the setback um, per course. So all of the technical details you need the Ridge Rock um, and Ridge Rock line of products you can find on page 23. Next, we have our Ridge Rock line of Holocore retaining walls. The Holocore units do not require pins to connect. They connect with a lug connector that's on the bottom of each block. We offer four different blocks in the Ridge Rock line. We have the Ridge Rock. Ridge Rock are 8 inches tall by 18 inches wide by 12 inches deep. If you do the math on that, that is one square foot per block. So it makes it very easy to estimate how many blocks you need to do by knowing how many square feet of wall you have. They're offered in a bevel face, in natural, buff, and hickory blend. We also stock them in straight face of chestnut and hickory blend. We do make corner units in hickory and chestnut blend. So if someone has a wall with ridge rock, they can add the corner units and then they can do easily do an outside corner, a 90 degree outside corner with a hollow core units. Not easy as easy to do as like with Versalock, but it can be done with the corner unit. The Ridge Rock 2 comes in the same bevel face colors of natural buff and hickory blend. But the great thing about Ridge Rock 2, it is only a nine inch deep unit. So they're a lot lighter. Uh, they are packaged 50 block, 50 square feet or 50 block per pallet. So we can get 750 square feet on a truckload. You can easily build walls up to 15 to 20 feet tall with Ridge Rock 2. Keep in mind, these are all with uh, reinforced geogrid at these heights. But the Ridge Rock 2 is a versatile unit. It's light. It's very cost effective, especially on large scale segmental retaining wall projects. Next, we have the Ridge Rock Belgado. This is a 12 inch deep unit, eight inches tall by 18 inches wide, but it has a core, it has a, um, it has a split. You have a split score in the middle of the block and to the sides that gives it a random look. It has the same pinless system as Ridge Rock. It's available in chestnut, walnut, and hickory blends, and it's a multi-sized upscale appearance. We also have a stretcher unit available, so you have a straight face block to mix in just to break up the pattern even more. So use the same advantages of Ridge Rock, which is something that looks like a more, more random look to the wall. Then next we have the Ridge Rock Messina. Ridge Rock Messina is eight by 18 by nine inch unit. So same dimensions as the Ridge Rock two. We stock those in chestnut, walnut, and hickory blends, same pinless system. And then you have the multi-size upscale appearance. So that is our Ridge Rock line of segmental retaining walls. As you turn to page 24 and 25, you'll see what we call the composite page. Here you will find all of the technical packaging, color availability, uses, and estimating formulas that you would need for the entire grotto line. And when you look at this, you not only, you know, the first column shows the product and you see an image and then the stock colors. And then the third column will be the unit dimensions. We have the unit weights, how many are on a pallet, the pallet weight, and then the materials estimate. The material estimate is great when you're estimating a job. For instance, Versalock standard, you see there the materials estimate is square foot of the project times 1.5. And then we have a handy column that shows the uses of each product. As you look over to page 25, we have an updated color chart for 2021 for our pavers and our wall colors 
Plus, we have a handy graphic that really shows the difference in texture between a weathered and a non-weathered unit. So when you're meeting with a client or a homeowner and they don't understand the difference, maybe you can turn to page 25 and really show the difference in those textures. So this is a handy for all of you at our dealers when you look at this page, all the technical information, the packaging, ordering information you need should be able to be found on this composite page. Page 26 and 27 is a new addition to our inspiration guide for 2021. We're listing all the hardscape accessories that we carry at our Danville and Christiansburg plants. First, we'll start with the Technoseal line. Technoseal has a line of sealers and polymeric sands and cleaners. Um, we carry the Technoseal Color Boost sealer. And Color Boost is a great project, product, great sealer. It really enhances the color of new and existing pavers really brings out the differences in the color tone. So it really makes colors pop on it. Um, so it comes in a five gallon bucket. It is a water-based sealer. So it absorbs, it does not make the, uh, you know, the surface slick. Next we have Technoseal's Wet Look Sealer. Wet Look will enhance the color of all dry cast pavers and it leaves them with a rich high gloss finish. If you want to know what your pavers will look like with wet look, it's just after a rain shower. If you like the way the look, that's the, the wet look sealer. So it really enhances the look. It'll darken the color, but it also brings out, especially darker pavers, um, you know, reds and charcoal grays. It really darkens and enhances them. Natural look sealer is a sealer that will protect the pavers, but not change the color at all. So this is great for a, a pool deck or something where you don't want to change the appearance, but you do want the protection of a sealer. The satin look sealer leaves a smooth satin finish and it strengthens sand or aggregate joints. Um, it's also great for permeable system at, um, installations. It's an all-in-one sealer and joint fortifier. All of these sealers have a joint stabilizing agent to them so they can be used in that. Dry Bond is a product that Technoseal introduced a couple years ago, and it's ideal for doing thin paver overlays. So if someone's doing a thin paver over a concrete drive or a porch, the Dry Bond can be put down, and then after they're wetted, it activates the Dry Bond. Saves you from trying to glue or mortar down a paver, so it's a very efficient way to do an overlay. The Border Bond is the way when you're using Dry Bond, you add the Border Bond to actually adhere the outer layer. So you do not have to use edge restraints and things with with dry bond, you use the border bond. Structure bond is an innovative uh, product that Technoseal introduced a few years. It is the it is a super strong hardscape adhesive, sets up in only eight minutes, can be used on wet or frozen products. Um, so it is no waste. Um, it is a great product for uh, putting caps on walls or anything like that. So it's a very efficient um, uh, adhesive. Paver Prep is Technoseal's uh, uh, paver sealer. You always want to use the, you, a paver cleaner that you want to use before you seal them. And it's a great product for uh, prepping um, the pavers for a, a seal job. Slurry remover, that's when you need to get really tough stains off um, uh, sealers right there. So if you have an installer that say they had um, one of their crew made a mistake and they had the uh, doing the saw cuts too close and they got that wet slurry on the pavers, the slurry is the strongest uh, cleaner that Technoseal offers. Technoseal Next Gel, that's uh, Technoseal's polymeric sand that's done with the Next Gel technology. Um, minimizes the dust very little um, so you don't have to do a lot of the leaf blower act aspect that you had to do with traditional poly sands so it's backed by 20 year warranty um, optimal performance in high humidity environments heavy vehicle traffic that's offered in the colors of tan and granite and what was introduced last year Technoseal has what they call the NOCO sealer this is ideal for doing uh, natural stone pavers any um, any paver project or um, a natural stone paver project project where you don't want to use uh, uh, you don't want to risk compaction and breaking the pavers so it's ideal for flagstones and natural stones it does joints from one quarter to four inches wide so it's perfect for patios pool decks walkways and other pedestrian projects it also has a 20-year limited warranty 
And the easy base system is is the base. So if you have a project, if an installer has a project that um, it's uh, impossible for them to get excavation equipment to the project area, so they can this will replace that four inch layer of um, road base aggregate that would have to go under pavers with these interconnected easy base panels. So this is a very efficient way to do it. And then they have the dry bond screed tool that's used when installing the dry bond system. There is just a screed. Uh, the screed rail to use when installing uh, dry bond. We also carry products from SEK Surebond. So we have the Snap Edge plastic edge, mistake, edge, edge restraint. And then we also carry the SB10 Paver Bond. That's just traditional caulking gun adhesive that we've carried for years. With VersaLock, we have the accessory of the Versa Lifter. And this is the best knuckle saver that we have. This is uh, makes it easier to lift and place wall units, especially on the base core. So you can straddle your base cores and set the set the block. The Versa Lifter it goes into the pinholes of the VersaLock block to install. The action of lifting the handle secures the lifter unit and makes it easy balance lifting. And of course, the Versa, Versa Tough pins that are used in all VersaLock retaining wall applicants applications. Ridge Rock, we carry their Ridge Rock grids of Gridlock 270, 370, 540, and they're all in 200 square yard rolls. We also offer grid from Geostar. We have a small 20 square yard roll that's bi-directional from GeoGrid. So a small project, you need GeoGrid. We do have the small rolls from Geostar Technologies. Uh, we also carry the PaveTech paver splitters. So that's a great tool for uh, making your half units or 45 degree corners on a job site using the PaveTech paver splitter. And then for Strata, we also carry their grids and we also carry the Strata sleevets. And what sleevet is, it's a pre-engineered fence post anchoring for below grade foundational st stability and fences placed on top of a segmental retaining wall unit. Anytime you're gonna put a fence post or a light post or something behind a retaining wall, you want to use a sleeve it because that will make it so if someone backs into that post, they're not going to be knocking your wall over. So a lot of engineers now are specifying sleeve it's on commercial projects. This concludes this presentation of our 2021 Volume 9 Grotto Hardscapes Inspiration Guide. I hope you learned some valuable information about our line. If you need more information, please go to our website at www.chandlerconcrete.com. And once again, my name is Brad Stowe, and I thank you for your attention. Smooth face. This is one of the prototype walls we built. As you can see, the smooth face, um, the texture. It has a tumbled texture, so you do get an aged look. And we're going to have a smooth face cap to, to go along with it. We're also, with smooth face, we're going to make special units to build corners and columns, as you can see in the picture. The great thing about the smooth face is the same wall that can do a retaining wall can also do a freestanding. There's smooth face on both sides. So it's really, we're really, in, we're really excited about this product. Um, we'll let the video kind of cycle through again. And as you can see, that same wall that you can do all the aspects of VersaLock standard, four foot gravity walls, 40 foot plus reinforced walls, but that same unit, you don't have to order a special unit can do the freestanding wall because they're smooth face. We made a match on both sides. So we'll be able to do a lot of interesting creative. We're going to offer this in standard and cobble size, plus have a corner unit to make the co make columns out of.